from 21st of this month of July, the news that has been trending across the country is all about the raid that, that was conducted by the government of Kenya in the home of former president Uhuru Kenyatta's son on allegations that they were in possession of guns. And today, actually, we have an updated news on that. And also, uh, uh, later on, we are going to see. Because guns actually being the subject matter of this whole news. So I decided to do a video. If you're a Kenyan and you need to own a gun, what do you need to have? What do you need to do for you to own a gun? Watch this video until the end, the end of the, uh, until the end, then you are going to see exactly what you need to do for you to own a gun. If it's your first time to be here, can it take you a two or three? Hit subscribe button, put on notification bell. When we release a video like this, YouTube, of course, it will automatically update you. If getting information is something you're passionate about, then consider this channel that will bring you the content of that nature. Without further ado, let us get started. The news or the update we have here at the information center is that former president Uhuru Kenyatta has spoken out about the raid on his son Jomo Kenyatta's home in Karen under the allegations of guns in his son's possession and also Uhuru Kenyatta asserted that the raid was part of a plan to plant guns in his son uh, as a means of propaganda to divert attention from other issues in the country. Uhuru Kenyatta went ahead and clarified that his two sons Jomo and Muhoho each own three legally registered guns making a total of six guns between them. However, he also clarified about his, about his daughter uh, Ngina Kenyatta that he does not own any firearms. According to the former president Uhuru Moige Kenyatta, his son Jomo who was forced to apply for a gun after his security was with the, with the drone shortly after the new administration took office led by His, Excell his Excellency the President uh, William Samoy Ruto took office. He also mentioned that his younger son uh, has an interest in guns due to his hobby of shooting birds in Imoya, an irrigation scheme. Uhuru Kenyatta expressed his disappointment and questioned the government's action during the raid. He criticized the lack of proper identification and the paperwork of the officers involved in the raid and defended the, legal the legality of the guns owned by his sons. Additionally, Uhuru Kenyatta emphasized that he has been forced to hire private security after his mother's security was withdrawn. He clarified that the benefit his mother, Mama Angina Kenyatta, receives are due to uh, her status as a former uh, first lady, and they have they have had to take measures to ensure their safety. The situation, guys, is rem remains contentious, and Uhuru Kenyatta has challenged the government and President William Ruto, daring them to come after him instead of targeting his family. The government has confirmed the raid and an operation to recover the gun, but Uhuru Kenyatta has denied any wrongdoings on his family's part. That is the news or the update rather we had here at the information center. If you have anything you can add, drop it into, into the com comment section. But before that guys, yesterday Uhuru Kenyatta said during the press briefing that on that night he wasn't drunk. I do not know, but this is the video. Had a tete -a -tete with the current no, president of no, the no, no. I mean, you have a tete-a-tete -tete with somebody who wants to have a tete-a-tete -tete with you. He has not shown any indication that he wants to talk to me. And, as a retired person, why should I go look for somebody who doesn't want to talk to me? Uh. Do, do you feel like perhaps the safety of your family is being threatened? Absolutely, and that's why I'm here. Yeah, And as you know, I've been quiet. But... Being quiet does not mean I will not defend my family. I will defend my family. Right? And I will defend it to the end. All right? I defended Kenya and I did my best for this country. Okay? You may not think well, whoever has that opinion, that opinion, that opinion, that is an opinion. But according to me, I did the best I could do for my country. All right? And I handed over when my time was finished. And I will now do the best that I can do to defend my family. Now, you have watched the video. Yesterday, Uhuru insisted that on that night of the press briefing, he wasn't drunk. But you yourself, you have watched, the guy, you have watched the guy, this video. Do you think he was drunk? Just drop your, comment, your opinion after watching that video of Uhuru Kenyatta speaking on that night of the raid. 21st, this month of July. Do you think he was drunk? That's your opinion. Drop it into, into the comment section. Then we shall, we shall interact. As we promised in the beginning, guys, that we are going to see, you as a Kenyan, you have always wanted 
or you have always wished to own a gun in Kenya. Now, this video or part two this, of this video, we are going to see what are the requirements actually for you to own a gun. What, what is required of you to have a gun? This part two, we are going to cover all those, re all, all those requirements. Then, if you are that person, always wanted to, to own a gun, then this, video, this part is for you. Join me at the end of this video, then you are going to learn something. Now, guys, in Kenya, owning a gun is a subject to strict regulations and requirements to ensure public safety and prevent misuse of firearms. The process of acquiring a gun involves several steps, and there are limitations on the number of guns an individual can own. Additionally, not just anyone can wake up in the morning guys, and decide to own a gun. A specific criteria must be met to be eligible for a, for a gun ownership. The first requirement for you to own a, own a gun in Kenya, you must be at least 21 years old and above. And the second one, it is only in Kenya. If you are in Kenya, it is only Kenyans. Kenyan citizens actually are, are eligible to apply for a firearm license. The third requirement, guys, is that an applicant who is applying for a, for a firearm must be mentally and physically fit to handle firearm responsibly and a medical assessment may be required to determine this uh, requirement. The fourth requirement, guys, for you to own a gun is that a thorough background check is going to be conducted to assess the to assess your criminal record and any kind of history of violence or substances abuse. The fifth requirement, guys, is that prospective gun owners must undergo mandatory firearm training at a certified shooting range. For you to apply for a gun, guys, and this is number six is that you'll be you'll give actually you'll provide a valid reason for needing a firearm such as personal protection, maybe security or hunting. The seventh requirement guys is that you'll be required to provide a character reference from a reputable individuals like chief or maybe pastors who can actually vouch for your trustworthiness number eight guys is that a secure gun safe or cabinet must be available to store the firearms when not in, in use as an applicant guys that's number nine as an applicant you must fill out a firearm license application form to provide all required personal uh, details and, re and the reasons for ownership of the gun you are applying for you as an applicant you must undergo uh, interviews with the, with the with the licensing authority and they may conduct interviews with the with you before granting you or denying you the license number 11 you guys actually the requirement is actually the limitations there are limitations on the number of guns an individuals can own generally the law of kenya permit owning up to three firearms guys it's also good to remember that the license actually have limited validity period and must be renewed regularly Failure to renew the license may lead to its revocation. As you conclude, guys, it is actually essential to note that gun ownership in Kenya is primarily for self-defense, sporting, and security purposes. The government is to regulate firearms to prevent illegal possession and misuse. The process also actually it is actually designed to ensure that only responsible and law-abiding citizens can legally own guns. And it is subject to change as per the, as per the uh, country's evolving security situation and the firearm legislation. We have come to the end of our, today, our today's topic, guys. I do not know what you think. If you have any other reason you think I've left behind, please drop it into the, into the comment section. For those of you who have not subscribed, remember, your subscription can make somebody like me to grow. And as you do that, please, let God bless you. Until the next video, bye for now.